Okay. This applies more to you. But it will apply to you once your color changes. So, it's recommended for Q ranks, but it's required for Gen ranks. You'll see, here's my... <laughs> so, this is in my monthly change sheet. What this is, is... Okay. I think I may have shown you this before. Every month, you change details of how you train. You don't have to do it every month. I choose to do it every month. It's easy to remember. You can do it every week. You can do it every day. Every year, if you want. So, some of the things that are going to change... Uh, for instance, training environments. We'll start with that. So, you want to, like right now we're on the grass. Or when we were inside, we were on the floor. You want to train on different environments like snow, ice, sand, in water up to your ankles, in water up to your knees, in water up to your hips, in water up to your chest or, or shoulders, and then not touching the ground. Doing your normal routine, your normal class. Okay. So rolling in all those environments, um, your godai techniques, like you can hapo. Uh, let's see, other things. Sand on hills. There's, I should have brought the actual list. But through narrow spaces, that's coming up actually. Um, up and down stairs, okay. in a car. Basically, you want to repeat any possible scenario so that if it comes up in real life, you can say you tried it first, so you're familiar with it. Huh? So like if you get into a fight in your car and you've never done it in your car before. So, for me, I do it. You should do it, but you don't have to yet. You can do more. And I can give you something, something like a copy or something like this. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. So that's training. You want to train, change the training environment often, basically, is what it comes down to. Next is the uniform. You want to change your style of uniform. Which is why you might see me with a white top sometimes and a black top. These stupid things that can't stand. Uh, that's not as important. Stretching, warm ups. No. Oh. no and yes. No, yes. In other words, you want to start your class. I, I go from month to month. So one month you don't want to stretch before class and one month you do. Only because you want experience training without warming up. Because you have to fight. fight like that? What's that? In case you have to fight like that? Exactly. Or? You will fight like that. Okay, cool. You're never going to warm up first. No. <laughs> yeah. Just one second here. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> On the other hand, when we stretch first, we can maximize our, our potential and our skill. And if you don't stretch first, you should maybe stretch at the end. Okay. Stretching is important. You want to you limber out yourself as much as possible. So change whether you stretch or not from period to period. In my case, I say month to month, but it doesn't have to be. Training goal. This especially refers to your grade. Okay. Oh, on the top of your grading sheet, just before 10th key, it'll say, I could get it out, but it says form, power, and speed, and accuracy. You'll see them there? Yeah. You've seen them before? Yeah. And you probably ignored it? No. No, you didn't. Okay. No. So, what that means is... For this whole month, I focus on form. So when I do any technique, especially my good eye, I make sure my form is the most important thing I concentrate on. It has to look picture perfect. Okay. Nothing else matters. I don't worry about speed or power or anything like that. The next month is accuracy and realism. That means your little tennis ball, okay. getting it pinpoint on a target. So when you're doing your block, these knuckles should be hitting exactly on it or in that it won't be the same distance, so... Okay, yeah, so what I've been using was the, uh, oops, the, uh, the chi, yeah. the shoot or like that. It does count for the block, too. Okay. So maybe... I'll just do that, um, changing the feet. Maybe, yeah. Okay. And then your chi, your, your sun chin should hit dead on, dead on, that kind of thing. So they're definitely Ooh. looking for the accuracy, like, you don't want to, you don't want to come in in a real fight and bounce off oh. your shoulder. Yeah anything like that. You want to get it right on, right on. Next month is speed and power. That's where you focus on, you know, when you hit that ball, it should burst into Bounce. flames. Yeah. It, it <laughs> so you want to get like, <laughs> like really yeah. cut their head off. Cool. Right? <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about your form as much. You don't have to worry. And then it just starts over. What's the, uh, uh Kyoshi Jitsu? Kyoshi, uh, we're, oh, getting Kyoshi. Okay. we're getting there. We're getting there.
just for those three, it's those three only, and it just repeats over and over and over. Either farm we focus on, and I've been watching too, like I want to see, because I see some people like <laughs> goes really fast. It's a little too fast, maybe, for his, although he did just get his green, so. Uh, but in the beginning, I tell everyone, focus on farm. I feel you're anything else other than white, just form. Don't worry about speed or power or accuracy. Form has to be number one. That's what your foundation is built on, right? So, okay. What's next? Gokyo type. Go I say Gokyo, you say Godai. Yeah. Because the Gokyo is slightly different, but it's the same thing. Okay. So, went for one month, I saw a shadow there. One month you do exactly like you've been doing, empty handed. Yeah. The next month you pick a weapon, any weapon. Oh, okay. Any weapon. Cool. And try go using your good eye with that. But uh, also keep in mind that if you only pick up one weapon, it could work for, for either hand. So if I have a knife, yeah, I this. if I have a knife, I'll be blocking with an empty hand and striking with a knife. Okay. But you should also do block with the knife and then strike with the empty hand. Okay, or if you have two, then that's fine. Okay, and that works with like the sticks Anything. and everything else. You pick up a rock and do it. Oh, really? Pick up a bottle. And you can throw it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you like. Uh, if you work with something a lot, like maybe especially your job, if you have like a pipe with pliers or... Oh, that'd be awesome. Pipe would work my best too. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe even a wipe of wire. Mm -hmm. Anything. Yeah, because the wire you can use it to tap a person's hand when they punch yeah. it. You can like loop it over and use it like a little whip too. So that kind of idea, and then once you, once that's over, go back to empty hand, and then pick a different weapon. Oh, cool! And just like I have bow and arrow, so literally, I block and shoot an arrow. Oh, okay. Instead, but I've also got. Is it on here? So you can even use arrows. That. Just okay. the arrow. Blocking and like stabbing the arrow. So you could probably block with the bow and stab with the arrow or yeah. something like that too. So they're shooting, so one weapon could be used several different ways. Mm -hmm. A knife could be used to point up or point down. Okay, yeah. Or blade out, blade in. So there's different varieties there too. So the Godai is very important to try different weapons because then you'll get used to transferring skills and that'll help you later. Trust me. Next is Ki. You don't have to do Ki yet. But by Black Belt you definitely have to. Okay, cool. And that is depending on what you're doing. This month is ribs. So I take a stick. This I use a Shanai. And I'll watch TV. It's always 20 minutes <laughs> at a time. And I'll sit and stand there if I'm working on my ribs. I'll okay. just watch TV and do this. And I'll like do the front of the ribs a bit. The side, the back a little bit. Okay. And every minute or two I'll switch sides. And you do it until you're like sore. Okay. And then you'll be surprised. Eventually you get the go. And it doesn't hurt. And you're like, wow, that actually works. On. And then the next month you'll go to groin. You can use a stick. I use an empty bottle. And I literally will sit in the chair or stand up and smash myself in the, the ads over and over for 20 minutes. And it only takes like two minutes and it goes numb. Oh, and then you can hit it hard. It doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't damage it or that Oh no, no, it'll damage it. It can hit it really hard. It's like a oh, baseball bat. My teacher that taught me this. He actually got kicked in the groin so hard, his head went through the ceiling, and he lost one nut for that. Oh, he had to go in for wow. surgery and have it taken out, so... Ouch. He literally crushed it in, like, jello. Oh, my word. So it word. can do damage, but, you know, just be sensible. Yeah. Don't smash yourself so hard that you're gonna kill yourself. Uh, once you get, once you work your way down to start over, so then you get your throat. I have a stick at home, I go like this. You can wrap a, a belt around your neck, but I wouldn't do that unless there's someone else in the room. Yeah. Pass out when you're dead. And like literally smash yourself against it. Okay, yeah. Or we have drills that we've done before. A guy will lay down on the ground, the white belt, and tie it, or it'll go around his neck and he'll drag the guy across the room. Okay. Just doing that with his neck. Uh, there's different drills, or if you're at home, just sit there and bounce, bounce against it, or just hold it, lift one leg, hold three, tight against it. And then that's when you do the hard breathing, like the hard breathe exercise, the soft and hard. That's when you want to go. Because if you don't, you could crack your windpipe. Uh, after going, there's um, solar plexus and stern. Both. 
Like if you push off of here, bounce on it, but then also go up on your sternum. So you, they both get tight and straight. Okay. And if you get hit there, it won't hurt. Now what do you uh, use for? Just a stick or anything? Or? I cut a tree off from outside. It has to flex. Okay. It can't be solid like this. So when you push into it, it should flex. Then okay. If it's really stiff, it's going to probably hurt way more than it needs to. Now does it have to be like a flat end so it's up against eh. the, the chest? Relatively or? flat. Okay. The neck one, my teacher actually told me to get one with a Y. Okay. Like something that's as long and straight, but then it bends out. But I picked one and it was so tight against my neck that it was catching and hitting here before it hit here. So okay. that's why I just cut them off and said screw it. Okay. And then the one with the Y, you flip it over to do your chest. Oh. So okay. you got the Y at the bottom and this part on the chest. But it should still bend when you push. So I'll find a tree outside that's, you know, cool. About this high. You know. Read on. And then you start over. Ribs. Throat, groin, chest, ribs, throat, groin, and then eventually, they say 12 years to become a key master, and after that you take full contact shots to the nuts, Rude. and it doesn't hurt. Uh, Koshi Jitsu, that, you already do that for your hands, that's your rock. Oh. Uh, finger and palm strengthening. Okay. I used a bucket of pebbles or dirt. Yeah. For me, they said start with sand. And then once you get used to the sand, go up to slightly bigger granules. And then <coughs> eventually gravel. Gravel rocks and jamming your hands into it. But the hard rock, like hitting that, is the same thing. Okay. But you should also do the plunging thing too, if you don't already. Yeah, I got the, uh, the fish tank rocks. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. But then I also switch to the feet, so you've got to do your hands. And then okay. I switch to my feet, so I'll sit there. They say 15 minutes a day or so, so when I'm okay. watching TV, I, I have this little square basin that I put all my stuff in, and I just sit there and jam my feet into it. Okay. That's now, it. Like a now when you do that, you do the ball of the foot and then the heel? Uh, I switch it a little. Like I'll jam my toes in straight, and then I'll jam it in oh, straight. Okay. I'll go back and forth on the sharp rocks. You know, just kind of moving them around all different. Okay. Uh, and that does amazing things for feet too. It's amazing. Like if you have uh, blisters, they, they go away completely. It like it heals your feet. They're clean. It's like an exfoliator. And if you have uh, what's the other thing? It's like okay. acid spot or something, it goes away. Any kind of fungus on your feet. Seriously? Yeah, it's amazing. It's like wow, my feet are dirty when you're done, but <laughs> they're, they're in really good health. And then last is every month I tackle a different topic. For outside sources. Oh, okay. So where you pick That's the what you're saying about that. Okay, yeah. I get it now. So we're at this point, you're only picked one. In yeah. reality, you should be doing a different one every month and non-stop for the rest of your life. Okay, cool. And you just, when you get to the end of the list, you start over. Cool. So this month, I'm studying and it's very, very easy. And I won't say any more, huh, Ken? <laughs> 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 <laughs>